Hey guys, this is Channel Tutorials. Today I will be showing you how to install SMF on part one of our SMS series. Also, I'd like to make a shout out to my friend Mini Tech Gaming. He's the one that created my YouTube background. Uh, Y'all should go check out his channel. There's a link in the description for it. Y'all should subscribe to him. He's a really good guy. And makes great videos. All right. Now, starting on the tutorial, you're gonna want to go to this download link that's in the description. For some reason, the SMF page has not been working, so you cannot be able to download it. So I'd have to upload it myself. Download this and save it to your desktop or wherever it's convenient for you. Then go to 000webhost.com and hit order now. You're going to want to sign up on this and fill all, all legitimate information and go check your email. I'll pause the video so you can get right to it. Okay, now once you fill out all your information, you're going to want to hit create my account. This is going to show up and you're going to have to go uh, confirm your email address. I'm going to pause the video so I can do that real quick. Okay, now once you click on the email, uh, once you click on the link in your email, you're gonna come up with something like this. You're gonna keep want to keep refreshing the status until it says uh, active. You want to go to go to your C panel, and you want to go to uh, file manager. You're gonna want to enter your uh, password that you use to sign up with the account. Hit continue, and then you want to go to public HTML. And there's going to be a, a file in there called default.php. You want to check that and delete it. Now, once you go back, uh, you're going to hit upload. You're going to go to this side, the right side, because it's for zip and Renoir folders. You're going to hit browse, and you're going to find the, uh, the file that you downloaded, the SMF 2.0.1 install. You're going to want to open that. Pick the green check mark, wait for it to upload. All right, then you're gonna go with a page like this. All these errors are totally fine. Just scroll down until you get to the green check mark and hit it again. And then once you see it one more time, hit that again also. And then go back. Now you see all these folders and files and stuff. Next thing you wanna do is go back to your uh, control panel and you're gonna wanna hit my SQL. You're gonna create a, a database name, just put random stuff in. But also just use the password that you signed up with the account to make it easier on you. Hit create database. It should load. Just keep this open on your screen for now. Go back to the file manager and you're going to see a folder called install.php. You're going to want to open that. Now two pages are going to come up. You're just going to exit out of one of them. Now you've entered the SMF installer. You're going to want to hit continue. Alright now right here is where you need your database. I'm going to uh, pause the video and enter in my information so it'll speed up the video. Okay, so now once you have all your information filled in, it's going to look something like this, except with your own information that you filled in. You're going to want to hit continue. Everything should look like this. And you're going to change your form name to uh, something that you'd like. Turn on tutorials. And then that's all you're going to want to change. Don't mess with any of these settings. Just name the form name that you'd like. Hit continue. It's going to take a second to load. Okay, now this is good. It's going to say that the populated database, and uh, it's going to be created uh, different tab tables and rows. You're just going to want to hit continue. Now you're going to create your admin account. This is going to be the account that you edit everything in. This is going to be your form account, everything. So make sure all the information is legitimate. Okay, so once you have everything on that, you're going to want to go down here and you want to enter your database password, which is the uh, password you did to sign up for your triple web host account. Once that all, all that's filled out, you're going to want to hit continue. All right, you're going to want to click this box. Make sure you click this box. You have to do it or your SMF will not work. Once you click that box, your uh, install installation is complete. You want to go back to your home, uh, uh, control panel and you want to hit turn on tutorials or whatever your name is right here. It's going to come up and your SMF form will be successfully installed. Part 2 of this video will be how to install themes and mods and to get your form looking really good. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.